In this example, we have a bicyclist who's traveling down a hill whose curve can be represented as x squared divided by 250. Starts at an initial speed of 0 meters per second. His initial position is also at 0, and he travels down the slope a distance of 20 meters. As he goes down the slope, his acceleration is represented by the function 2s plus 4 meters per second squared. We want to find out what the magnitude of the acceleration of the bicyclist is at point B, which is 10 meters in the x direction away from the origin. Well, to start, we're trying to find the magnitude of our acceleration, which is equal to the square root of our normal acceleration squared plus our tangential acceleration squared. So first we need to find our tangential acceleration and our normal acceleration. Our tangential acceleration is simply equal to 2 times s plus 4 meters per second squared. But we know what our position s is. That was given to us as 20 meters. So we have 2 times 20 plus 4, which is equal to 44 meters per second squared. To find our normal acceleration, we need the velocity squared divided by the radius of curvature. Our acceleration is a function of position. So in order to find velocity, we need to use ADS equals V dV. Substituting in our acceleration equation into our ADS equals VdV equation, we get 2s plus 4 ds is equal to VdV. Integrating both sides, our initial position is 0, our final position is 20, our initial velocity is 0, and our final velocity, v, is what we're looking for. The 2s will be 2s squared over 2, so we can cancel the 2s. So we have s squared plus 4s evaluated from 0 to 20 is equal to the velocity squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to v. Plugging these values in, 20 squared plus 4 times 20 is equal to the velocity squared over 2. So our velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times 480, which is equal to 30.98 meters per second. Now we have our velocity. The next thing that we need is our radius of curvature. Our radius of curvature, rho, is equal to 1 plus the derivative of y with respect to x squared all to the 3 halves power divided by the second derivative of y with respect to x. So we need to find what our derivatives are of our function. We said that our function was x squared over 250. So our first derivative is 2x over 250, which is equal to x over 125. Our second derivative then is equal to 1 over 125. Plugging these back into our radius of curvature equation, our first derivative going in there, and our second derivative going in there, we can then say that our radius of curvature is equal to 1 plus x over 125 squared to the 3 halves divided by 125. We want to know what the radius of curvature is at x equals 10 meters. That's where our position s is 20. So we put in 10 for our x, and that gives us a radius of curvature that's equal to 126.2 meters. With our velocity known and our radius of curvature known, we can now solve for our normal acceleration. So our normal acceleration is equal to 30.98 meters per second squared divided by 126.2. That gives us a normal acceleration that's equal to 7.605 meters per second squared. Magnitude of the acceleration then becomes the square root of our normal squared, 7.605 squared, plus our tangential squared, 44 squared, which equals 44.7 meters per second squared.